Okay, balance beam. So, mine I got it set up already raised because I can't really lower it uh, to start. Uh, but if you're doing your dog at home, uh, maybe start with a, a 2x6, uh, depending on the size of your dog, a 2x6, a 2x8, 2x10 laid out on the ground and get lure them across. You know, it can be, what does it have to be? Something like six feet or they have to be able to take three steps. Uh, lure them on it to try to keep all their feet on it. Get them used to being on that. Raise it maybe with a brick at each end if you have bricks. If you don't, you have blocks. Use blocks. Put them down uh, so that they're laying the shorter way. And then if you have more blocks later on, you can put stack them up. To make them about too high for balance beam and double balance beam um i started these guys off on cement blocks uh laid in a row you can do that too if you don't have wood laying around but you have some cement blocks for little itty bitty dogs you could probably use bricks you know whether they're put lengthwise together to make a little balance beam or or as they get better you can put them um you know, lengthwise this way to make the little balance beam and then start uh, by putting them up, you know, to, uh, two layers or three layers for like the little chihuahuas and stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to attach uh, the video of him starting on cement blocks uh, so that you can see. And I tested, actually I tested the one row of cement blocks because I thought, I thought that wouldn't be um, wide enough uh, for him or yeah for him in particular so I thought I would start with him and I thought my thought was if he could do it with one cement block put end to end to end then the rest of them could do it and I made the rest of them do that because he did it so did you get it yeah. oh, I on. Good. That was pretty good. I know, that's really skinny for you. So, wait. <laughs> wait. Wait. Very skinny for you. One more time. All four feet. Nope. You're cheating. Cheating. You getting tired? <laughs> you getting tired? Yeah. I wouldn't blame you. Ow, if you were. Okay, on it, yeah, on, yay, good job, I think you got that last one. I know, you can, do you can do it for some reason. Good job. I know, sometimes a little speed helps. Okay. And sometimes not. Okay, up. A little speed, not too fast. Okay. Nope. One. Let's do it one more time. Good. I, I know, my platforms are on the What was that? What was that? That was cheating. Get on there. Go on it. Go on. Oop. Good. Nope. Nope. On. Nod all feet. All feet on it. Yes. On it. Step. Step up. Yes. Get on it. You can't turn and be on it. <laughs> okay, ready? On. Go a little bit faster. Nope. One. Nope. One. Yes. <laughs> yes, good. Good, good, that's good. That's better. Good job. Careful. Yes. Get on there. Go. On it. Careful. Careful. On it. Step. Yes. You gotta put the 
other one behind you. I'm gonna get Maria out here. She walks the edge of the pool. Shoosh. Good try. Good try. Yay! That was better. Good job. Um, just give them, just have patience with them. That one session was a little long. I know he could take it <laughs> for the hot dogs. He wasn't getting too frustrated because I know my dog. But if, you're go if your dog is going to get frustrated at just leave it and go back the next day. Try another five minutes tops, maybe. Maybe only another two. Couple tries back and forth, back and forth. If they get three feet on it, reward them big time. It takes some learning for them to know where all four feet are all the time. But that's part of these exercises, right, is to help them with their coordination.